Hey everybody, welcome back to 1776 Robust. Thanks for joining me tonight so that I can show you this new holster that I just got in the mail today. This is the first time I've actually been able to actually open it and take a look at it because I've been out all day with my uh, wife and my kids. Um, so I'm actually looking at it right now for the first time and I have to say I do like it. I know, what a surprise because I have so many holsters. Um, one of the things that I have to say, you know, you can never have too many holsters. Some people may say, geez, how many, how many holsters can this guy have? To be honest with you, just for this Mod 2 alone, I actually have three other holsters for it. So that's kind of my norm. I have anywhere from four to five different holsters that I circulate each time. And it also is going to depend on what you're wearing and, and what you're trying to do in regards to where you want to place the firearm, so on and so, so forth. In this case, I actually received this holster from Hidden Hybrid Holsters. I talked to Brian Rosso, one of the owners of the company, over the internet uh, via email. And I asked him if he'd be willing to donate a holster for you know testing and evaluation so I could do a review on it. He was very gracious, very polite, um, you know, just really nice in regards to saying, yeah, absolutely, that sounds like a great idea. Um, just you know, give us your address and we'll send you one out. And uh, I basically said, that's great. He asked what model. And I said, the XD Mod 2. So he said, good. And you know, he sent me this one right here, which is one of their single clip inside the waistband holsters. Again, it's made from Kydex and with leather and suede. So it's a very nice hybrid holster the way it's set up. Now, what I'll do is I'll pull the gun out. By the way, it's, it's unloaded. Uh, it is a full magazine, but nothing in the chamber. This um, holster, I actually have to say, I do like in regards for my Mod 2 because I don't have uh, many holsters from the Mod 2 that you know fit for me perfectly in regards to what I'm looking for. Since the Mod 2 is such a small subcompact, it's a little chunky, a little heavy, but very small. And, and at this point, it's the only subcompact I own. I always am looking for something really good to fit into, something that I can actually put on my body, not have any hassles with it, uh, you know, in regards to sweat or just being uncomfortable. So when I was looking online, I found these holsters and I don't really own a holster like this. The closest hybrid I have is the Alien Gear from my Mod 2 and you can see the difference in size. I mean, it's about, I'd say this is about half the size of the Alien Gear. So I've carried this before, but I find that this is making me sweat a little too much. And um, I think I'm going, or I think I'm moving away from the, the Alien Gears quite a bit now because I just think there's so many great um, options out there. Nothing wrong with it. If you own one, they're great. I, I have no issues with them. I'm just seeing myself kind of move away from uh, Alien Gear holsters for a little while, but that could always change. But um, it's not about alien, alien Gear, it's about hidden hybrid holsters. Now, a couple of the features that I do like about the holster, uh, you know, if there's anything negative, I would definitely tell you. Uh, at this time, I haven't worn it, so it's hard for me to say or gauge exactly if there are going to be any negatives. Uh, tomorrow, I plan on wearing it all day long, so we'll see. If there's anything that I can find that I may not like about it or something that I could recommend changing, I'll definitely put it in the follow-up video. Uh, I will be doing a follow-up video on several of my holsters this week. I haven't really had the time or really haven't had the focus in doing those. But since I did a couple of actual holster videos on the channel, I figured why not let me do some follow-ups to you know, let people know how they're carrying and how they're kind of going through their paces and, and how they're responding. So we'll do one of those this week. Now in regards to the holster itself, the Kydex is a really nice Kydex. Um, you know, a lot of holsters that you get online, most of their holsters are 0.1, uh, what is it, 0.08 or 0.16. In this case, this is 0.093, which is actually kind of an in-between number, obviously, of the 0.08 and the 0.16. But I have to say, actually, I, I do like this one because uh, it's thick. It's thick, but it's not overwhelmingly thick. I have a few holsters that are 0.16, and they're thick. You can see the double sides of the, the Kydex inside. But this one, I just think, is a really good median between both of the 0.08s and the 0.16. Because at 0.093, you're kind of getting in between that range. So you're getting, I think, sort of both, best of both worlds at that point. You're getting a thicker, more sturdy Kydex but still not with the thickness of a 0.16. In regards to the Kydex, the Kydex is very rigid. Uh, this thing does not bend at all, so that's why I have to say that's one of the things I really like about the holster is just the thickness of the Kydex and the rigidity of the Kydex. Secondly, as I always look at all my holsters to see if there's any you know, issues with the lines on it, everything is smoothed down very nicely. Everything is, is done and polished very well. So there's no jagged edges. There's nothing that's gonna catch your finger or catch a knuckle or anything like that. So that's always a great thing. The other thing I look at is again, the quality and craftsmanship of the mold. If you look at the mold of this compared to with the, well, I should say compared to the actual pistol. Again, you look at the fronts and you can see they're, they're just like identical. And that's a really good sign to me. That means the molding process is done very well. 
and it's again done carefully which is i think very important up to the point where you could see this indent let me say i can get that out of the light this indent here of the mod 2 you can see right here as well so it's very nice even inside the holster i won't show you on the camera because it's kind of maybe tough let me see if i can angle that in but inside the holster you can see the lines of the kydex inside also all the way down at the bottom you can actually see the line for the for the rail in the front of the mod 2 which is very nice touch uh, other than that no issues with the kydex kydex is great the molding is great uh, it seems to be very sturdy at right now but again remember i have not worn it yet which i will be wearing it tomorrow the leather itself is a stitched leather on the back you have a piece of um, suede on the back so you have a suede backing and the nice smooth black leather on the front so it's a very nice feeling holster so far again no issues but uh, we're going to test it and we're going to find out you can see that uh, they add a nice touch to uh, putting on this shell you can see that there's almost like these four rivets i guess that's what they are i don't really know what they're called but you see the four rivets in the front and then you can see that they're riveted in the back as well you also have these uh, almost i guess you can say like a um, I don't know. I don't know what to call them either. <laughs> I don't know if they're like nuts or whatever they are, or bolts or who knows. But you can see that they're screwed in. And again, this is for the clip in the front. And then you can see the retention points here. So you have two uh, points of retention, which is also very good, especially with a heavier gun like a Mod 2. You definitely would probably want something like that. Your clip is your typical, uh, you know, fiberglass clip. This is, I think, a reinforced fiberglass clip because when I look at my old Alien Gears compared to the newer ones, this one is as sturdy as the new one. So to me, that means it's probably reinforced uh, fiberglass. So that's very good. So it's a very rigid clip. In regards to retention and the hold of the pistol, let's see. I'll get that close. Let's see. So it slides in. And let's see if we can hear a click. So you hear a small click. It's not the loudest click. I mean, I have many holsters that have louder clicks than that. But I have to say the retention is very good now i know some people saying well you're not really shaking that that much and yes you're right but i'm also not going to be doing you know somersaults while i'm holding my gun now of course if somebody goes to reach for my gun you know they're going to have to you know at that point try to depants me in order to do that so i don't worry too much about that i'm not going to be doing headstands anytime soon uh, one of the things about the clip that some people might be wondering is would your knuckle get caught on this if you go to draw for your gun again it really depends you know right now i have it at the the furthest back um which is probably more of a 15 degree. But uh, do I think my knuckle is going to catch on it? I don't know. It may, it may not. But at that point, what I try to do every time I have a new holster is I try always to practice drawing the gun out of the holster so that if there's any issues with it, if my finger gets caught or something like that, I'll know what to expect. I'll know how to work my hand around it so that it doesn't get hurt by the clip. Um, but at the same time, if I'm trying to draw from my gun, there's probably going to be a very good reason why I'm doing that. And as a result, I don't really care about my knuckle because it's either my knuckle or my life, and I'd rather keep my life than my knuckle. In regards to the clip itself, again, it is adjustable, so you can actually move this up forward so you can carry more of an appendix style. If you're into appendix style, me personally, I'm not. Uh, I have a little bit of, uh, you know, chubbiness, I guess you can say, not to mention I don't really want a live gun pointed at my dingling, so I don't really carry appendix style too much. However, what I do do is I do carry with a 15 degree cant, which is about right there. Again, if you want, you can actually limit that to more of a 10 degree cant. So the likelihood of you hitting that knuckle is going to be a little bit less. Okay. Cause you can see your fingers kind of sliding right in between that with the clip itself. But other than that, it seems like it's going to be a great holster. Again, I'm going to put it through its paces tomorrow for a little while and see how it works. Everything looks really good right now. Looks like it's a quality job from hidden hybrid holsters. Now, what they send you in the mail, which I have to say is kind of cool, um, they actually send you a little plastic baggie. They give you a couple of their business cards right here. And by the way, I'll put the link at the bottom of my, uh, my description there, so check that out. And then they give you a little targeting paper, your diagnostic target for right-handed pistol shooters. Um, so I'll probably use this the next time I go out. Why not? You know, because I'm sure I'll be shooting more to the left as always. But, uh, you know, maybe I can figure that out by using this. So that's really cool. Now, the coolest thing they sent to you or sent to you when they send, at least what they sent to me, hopefully they sent it to you, is you get one of these bad boys right here. You get a pocket constitution, baby. That's right. And not only do you get the pocket constitution, but you get the Declaration of Independence. That's right, people. So I think that right there seals the deal for me with this holster because... You know what, when they take enough time to give you one of these, to me that means something nowadays, especially when most people in our country probably don't even know what the hell the Constitution is anymore. So that's a very cool deal. Definitely like that. That bad boy's going with me everywhere I go. I had one, I actually had a pocket Constitution. I have no idea what I did with it. So now I have a new one. So thanks guys, I appreciate it. Again, 
Hidden hybrid holsters, very good holster so far. I will be just trying to put it in the center there. I will be wearing this bad boy tomorrow, so we'll see how it fits. Excuse me, I'm gonna cough. <coughs> so we'll see how it kind of goes. Um, I don't foresee any problems with it. I have to say it's a very compact holster. Looks to be extremely comfortable. The clip does not appear to be an issue at all. So again, I'll test it out and do a review or follow-up review later this week. So I hope you guys are having a great night. Again, stay safe over the weekend and freedom is never free.